Oh. Missed the step. <laughs> Bro, I always talk about that. that yeah. Oh, dude. Huh? Why? Where are we going, Gavin? Uh, so it's a real haunted house. It's not as haunted house. Oh. It's real. Watch like, it be terrible. <laughs> I know. Like, like nothing happens. No, like not that. Just like it's fake. Yeah. Let's get on to it. <laughs> and we've been wanting to, so Gavin's scared. This was also scared. He's shivering his boots right now. But yeah, I'm I'm fine. I, I don't know. Depends what happens, and then I might just come out of this place shaking of tears and crying. Wait, what for, like, Sizzle, why are you shaking? For, like, you ain't going. Being followed by ghosts the rest of our life now. After we got Don't say that, dude. That's that's. Scary. I'm already freaking followed by one. Oh yeah, that's true. The Gavin's house is haunted. We forgot to do an investigation here. <laughs> Sizzle just wants spotlight. He's so retarded, I swear. He's gotten so dumber since he's gotten older. Yeah, I'm going you. <laughs> hey, we have service. That's a plus. Not gonna lie, I'm kind of scared. Blue. Yeah. yeah. No. <laughs> All right, say it again. Anyway, the the Ouija board, like the movie, it has like so. Say like they have a table. She'll she'll like ha she has a crystal ball. She'll like hit something under the table, and there's a cloth on it, and like people actually like come in, they pay her. It's kind of like a person that reads your your mind, yeah. And like she'll hit it, and then like a chair will fly out or something. Like I hope it's not fake. That's oh, true. My, yeah. That's my only thing. I hope it ain't fake. No. <laughs> Wait, would you do what? No. <laughs> you get scared of recording. I forget about it. Because it looks stupid, I'm sure. That's why you said it. <laughs> no, I swear to God. I'm, like, I'm recording it because I'm recording it. Oh. Say it again. Okay, so what if you were like oh, okay. the host? Restart. <laughs> no, it's fine. I can edit. Okay, so what if like you walk up to the host? Sorry. And the host was like. Did your lantern die? No, I turned that. Oh, yeah. I shouldn't turn it off. Who knows? I didn't know that. No, I, I did that yesterday. I turned it off. Whale oil, like. Why are you still recording? Why not? It's so expensive. Though. Yeah, three minutes. How, how you keep a stop? Okay. <laughs> Henry River, and what for us is the important piece is reminding people of why places like this existed uh, and why we should care about them moving forward. And so, a couple rules tonight: no smoking or vaping. Uh, we have put it a up. zero tolerance tobacco uh, Kidding, free policy got. here. Uh, no fire. <laughs> he said you can only go on this one, Gavin. If you'd listen in line. I'll pee. Like a freaking. So I just have to tell you to say. And in 1977, the mill was struck by lightning and burned to the ground overnight, leaving the village in a unique, preserved form that you see today. Family still remains here. This is where they called home. What's your name? Yeah. I know who was. Where did you work? How old are Are you male? Are you female? What's your child's name?
What card am I holding up? What's this number? I'm gonna get the good out stage. This is the worst one he's ever done. Black cord here, guys. Just watch your step as you walk over. Don't want to have anybody have any accidents. Just be careful of that. Watch yourself right there. But here it is. Here uh, is our entrance to downstairs. That's, That's where all uh, you know, the, the, the angry German. Holt, which was one of the owners of the village, he had a tradition every year around holiday time where he would come out and he would give all the good kids one dollar <coughs> bill uh, if they were good that year. Well, one year, uh, pretty much he comes out here and gives all the kids a dollar bill. Evidently, Vernon Duckett was not a very good boy that year, so he didn't get a dollar. So, Feeling very spurned from that, Vernon took the rest of the evening kind of going around the village with a bucket, picking up rocks and other heavy things and items, just filling it up, uh, filling up the bucket. And he waited until it was about midnight out here one night, came out here with those rocks, and uh, the general store here came out here and broke out every single window. Kind of as a uh, revenge for not getting his dollar. So I'm guessing uh, Mr. Adderholt wished he'd have given him the dollar then because I'm sure replacing those windows cost a lot more than a dollar. Uh, so, dude, it like it goes dead and if you, if you run out, then just record on your phone. The rest. This is strobe light, bro. Oh, listen. The owner's house, yeah. and that is also very, very haunted. Very haunted. Um, we have one of the owners that'll come and tell us the stories. There's three main ones. There's a poltergeist that um, breaks things, in particular, really likes expensive china and crystal. Cool. Good and taste. Those, yeah, good taste goes. Um, and then there is a lady in white that shows up between like 11 and 12 several nights on mm -hmm. top of the stairs. And then the newest one that I found out a couple months ago, there was a lady that stayed in the house uh, when the uh, now owner bought it. Uh, and there were a set of butler stairs because there used to be servant, servants there. Uh, and so about two dozen times throughout the night, she heard 10 footsteps go up and 10 footsteps go down yep. uh, on the butler stairs. She was so scared that she slept with a knife. <laughs> with a knife under her, her pillow. pillow. Which I probably would have done. I don't too. blame her, yeah. <laughs> exactly. It's just uh, kind of a little bit of... <laughs> it's just for a little bit of contact. Machines, and it wound up scalping her. So, you know, pretty bad. So, you know, the voice box wound up picking up all of that stuff around here. So, you know, lots of very bad feels, lots of negative emotions through here. That's what the voice box kind of picked up. Now, that will keep on going, and I'm going to... Oh, my God, it is, bro. And, of course, I can't see it. Oh, dude. We'll talk about it. All right, guys. I'll trip nowhere. All right. I seen something go like this. Back, off. Yeah. Back in the day. I'm gonna start recording my phone. I think my camera's really off because I dropped too many times. Now through here, guys. This is the. <laughs> this is kind of a you know one of the final gauntlets. Uh, we've got a lot of black walnuts and stuff on the ground, so. We got a lot of them through here. Just watch your step. Please, please watch your step. Don't want anybody to turn an ankle. And just kind of stay <laughs> in a, uh, kind of in a straight. So basically, guys, this video is, wasn't the scariest. I mean, it really wasn't scary at all. But my camera kept dying and everything happened. But we ended up paying like $80 for this trip. And it was for three people. 80 for three. That's I don't think it's worth it. I mean, y'all can go check it out. But personally to me, I don't think it's worth it. But, uh, I mean, I think it was really cool if you're not going. If you're going for, like, information and stuff like that, I would go. But me and Gavin really just wanted to catch a ghost with camera because we, we want to see what happens. But they did have this house that people could rent. And if this video gets 20 likes, me and Gavin will try and rent the house out. For us, like us, stay in the house and stay in it for like a couple nights and see what happens to us. And yeah, of course, we'll vlog it. But if y'all want to see that, alrighty. Before I got interrupted by my brother screaming, I don't know why. Uh, yeah, 20 likes. I mean, Gavin would go try and see what it is. If it's over like 
four at 500. I'm not doing it because, I mean, I don't know. I don't want to be a bust like a trip. But, yeah, we'll go do it. And, yeah, hope you enjoy today's video. Peace.